I'll be showing you how to go from nothing to everything and the best way to do it. All those other day one guides are outdated because things have changed immensely, which is why I'm making this video to show you the best way to go from prey to the top of the food chain. The last video though has been doing great and I just want to thank y'all real quick because dang y'all are amazing. And to everybody who's subscribing, the growth has been insane lately. Like we're for real only going up from here. So if you like the video, subscribe for more. Now, when you first start off, you won't have much to do besides complete mission board quests to grade up. Put on some music and just run through them because it does take a little bit of time and it's kind of tedious. I suggest doing these quests in Wanden or Soul Society because it will always have you fight two hollows and it's the easiest thing in the world to do. And you'll keep doing that until you get to semi-grade 2 because at that point you'll have an XP requirement where you'll have to grip a person of the other faction. Like Aronkars for example will have to grip Soul Reapers or Quincy and vice versa. Usually the amount of grips is low, just one grip, so grab an ult for that because unless someone is willing to give you a grip it's not happening then from there just keep doing your mission board quests and whenever you grade up past grade 2 go grip somebody from the other faction and eventually this way you'll hit elite grade unless you're a soul reaper because if you are boy you are in for a treat if you want a soul reaper though feel free to skip to the time up on the screen because this information really isn't important to you but you'd be a go for sitting through it now at grade 2 soul reapers have to meditate for 30 minutes three times so when you're grade 2 just press m go out get some food then come back after 30 minutes and do it again. Make sure you're in a spot not many people go to because your meditation can get messed up. After 30 minutes, you'll automatically stand and that's when you have to press M again to go do something for 30 minutes and just repeat that because once you do it the third time and complete it, pressing M will send you into your Shikai world where you'll fight your Shikai and pretty much unlock it. Soul Reapers will not be able to get past grade 2 if they don't do this because at grade 2, Soul Reapers have to do Shikai missions. There's five different types of Shikais and you can tell which one you have if you pay attention to the whisper text when you meditate. There's hateful, chaotic, pure, vengeful, squeamish, and kind-hearted. I can't read out all the text, but I will throw images up on the screen, so figure out which shikai you have. <coughs> because it will determine how you'll be able to grade up. Hateful is getting grips off players and NPCs. Chaotic is gripping players and NPCs or winning PvP missions. Pure is just defeating hollow NPCs. Vengeful is getting grips on a faction who gripped you, so if you get gripped by a Quincy, then gripping any Quincy will give you XP for your Shikai. Squeamish is the easiest one to do. Just do mission board quests. You're already doing them. And kind hearted is purifying lost souls. So when you see a lost soul, go up to them, press P, and that's for your Shikai missions once you unlock it. After doing the mission board quests, grips, and Shikai missions for Soul Reaper, after a while, you should be at elite grade. At this point, I highly suggest trying to find a group of people or friends to make a clan with because the next step is you have to win 80 raids to get past stage one for your awakening. That's tedious. So here's a cheat seed. When you win a clan war, it pretty much gives you five raid wins, and on top of that, you have a chance to get a true hog Yoku fragment or essences and armor that everybody needs. So, which one would you want to do? After finishing the first stage, the second stage is pretty easy. Just go defeat Bawa Bawa two times. He's a snake boss in Hueco Mundo that spawns every 40 minutes. He is impossible to miss because he is loud and there is a giant arrow pointing to his location. After that, the next step is to get 30 grips on someone who isn't in your faction and defeat 150 hollows. It doesn't have to be in that order just do whichever is easiest for you after that you'll be on stage three for soul reapers you'll have to talk to kisuke to find your zan pato then after you found it you'll be able to fight your bankai by pressing m for a wrong card you have to go into the metals forest and find this sword shrine meditate there for 10 minutes and you'll be put in a maze to find yourself and for quincy's you have to talk to an npc that's up at the top of the wanden building the npc is going to bring you to a world where you have to parry this beam of light that rains down on you until it's over once you complete this you'll have your awakening now what's next you can actually start making your build now. You'll most likely need to get Hagyoku fragments which only drop from hometown raids. So if you're Soul Reaper, do raids in Soul Society. If you're Quincy, do raids in Wanden. If you're a Ronkar, do raids in Hueco Mundo. Now then, if you're in a Ronkar, you'll need 10 Hagyoku fragments to get Bastokar. If you're already a Bastokar through the traditional way, you skip this step. For Soul Reapers and Quincy's, it's 10 Hagyoku fragments to get Lesser Visored and Lesser Let's. But for Soul Reapers to actually get Lesser, lesser Visored, after you use the 10 Hagyoku fragments, you'll need to go find your Visored NPC in Hueco Mundo and defeat it. Then after you master your mask to get your buffs, there's one of three quests it will give you. Fight your Shikai 150 times, grip 200 Soul Reapers without dying, or win 10 raids. If you're on the visor quest and you want to know which one you have, press M. Does your Shikai run to you? If not, then you have to either get 200 Soul Reapers without dying or win 10 raids. Go win 10 raids and see if the whispering stops. If it doesn't, grab Soul Reaper alt, grab some coffee, put on some music, and get to gripping. Now, after you pass this stage, the only thing that's left is to get a true Hagyoku fragment. 
movement, which will let you reach the peak of your power. They drop from Clan Wars, which is why I suggested if you're on stage 1, do Clan Wars for your raids, and then after doing all that, you'll basically be maxed. The only thing that's left is to choose the right build you like, get 2 skill boxes and an essence again. I suggest doing Clan Wars because they drop essences. If you get an essence you don't want to use, you can easily trade it for rerolls or Hawk Yoku fragments to get skill boxes with or to get your upgrade with the 10 Hawk Yoku fragments. Unless you want to try your luck and try to get a skill box from normal raids, um, fair warning, it's not worth it. It's up to you though. This is how I was able to make my build completely max it out and now you know how to do it too. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe for some chocolate and see you later. Now for the max build experience. I don't care, call your loser. Oh, I'm not gonna beat him if I don't go first though. So. 